Hello and welcome back. So in this episode we're going to make a turret. Um, if you want to use the same reference image as I'm using, I literally just googled epic mech drawing and then I clicked on this one and then I, I just zoomed in on that. So I, I'm going to model this part of the, the weapon. Now hit tab to go into edit mode. I'm going to hit control tab to go into face selection mode. Right click on the top face. Um, and now remember from, uh, when we when we save this and go into Unity, um, because Unity and Blender use different axes for everything, uh, we want the negative Y direction to be the forward direction for the turret. Um, so that, that means this will be the, the front of the turret, this will be the back, and this will be the top. Uh, so I'm going to click on the top, hit S, and then I'm going to scale it along the X axis, down like that. I'm going to click on the bottom, drag that up, like so. And then I'm going to click on this face and hit the I key, drag that in, like right about there. And then I'm going to hit Control T, go, or sorry, Control Tab, go into vertex mode. And also, um, I'm using an auto hotkey script that displays my key presses. Um, to the screen. Uh, I, I have the ability to make that bigger or more... Um, it, right now there's a little bit of transparency on it so it's it's less in the way. Um, if you guys if you guys need that to be bigger or less transparent let me know. Um, I can certainly change that. So again go into vertex mode. I'm going to select these two vertices. Drag that down. And then I'm going to hit control tab to go back into face selection mode. Click here. Hold shift, click here, and click here. And then I'm just going to hit E to extrude that out. To go out there. Uh, then I'm going to go over here and click on this subdivide tool. And I, I want to have this top part selected, but not these. So I'm just going to hold shift and right click down here to deselect these pieces. And then E to extrude that out. And I don't really like the angle that this is at, so I'm going to click on these faces. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll go into vertex mode. Um, you know, actually, I'm fine with that. Uh, I, I don't, I don't, I'm nervous about moving these around, um, just because I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to make it look weird. So now I'm going to select these vertices, drag that back. Select these vertices, check that back. All right, I think we're off to a pretty good start. But, um, I'm going to stay within edit mode and then hit Shift A, and I'm going to create a cylinder. Um, 32 vertices seems like maybe kind of a lot. I'm going to change that to 16. Scale that down with the S key. I'm going to rotate it over the x-axis. And it, and if you're trying to rotate something, um, usually you just want to hit R to go into rotation mode and then choose the axis that you want to ro rotate it around. So like like if I wanted to spin this um, horizontally, I would hit R, Z, and then spin like that. And then you can also hit um, numbers on your, on your number pad to do like a specific rotation. Um, so I, I want to rotate this forward as if it was the barrel of this weapon. So I'm going to rotate over the x-axis. You can see it. Um, you, you can see the axes labeled down here in the bottom left of our screen. So R, X, 90, just like that. Pretty easy. Uh, and then I'm going to hit S. I'm going to scale on the y-axis and just drag that out. Scale up. And then I'm going to hit Shift D and just drag that straight down. You can click your middle mouse wheel to lock the movement to a certain axis. So like I could click it again and go horizontally, click it again and go up and down. Um, so I'm just going to go down to about there. I'm going to move it over. And then I'm going to hit Shift D one more time to duplicate and middle mouse wheel to just drag it across. Like that. Alright, I think we're off to a pretty good start. Um, I, I also want to stretch these out further, so I'm going to hold shift 
click on this vertice and this vertice, and then I'm going to hit Control L to select all three of those objects. And basically, Control L just selects everything um, connected to whatever you have selected. Uh, and you can see these these aren't actually connected to this. I, I could do the same thing over here. Right click here, Control L, uh, whatever. So I, I just want these pieces. S, Y, scale. That's good. Uh, and then I'm going to click on these four vertices. Shift D, and then middle click the mouse wheel. Drag to about here. And then E to extrude back like that. I'm not sure how I feel about that shape. Uh, I'm going to hit Control Tab, go into Edge Mode. I want to select this uh, this outer edge and this outer edge, like that. And then I'm going to hit Control B for Bevel, and then just drag away from the center like that. I think I like that better. Um, let's let's try the same thing up here. So right click, right click, Control B. And I, I don't like the way that looked. All right, so now I'm going to hit Control L, uh, S to scale this down, drag it down a little bit. Uh, S X to scale horizontally, and let's just pull that back. The next thing I'm going to do is Control Tab to go into face mode. Click here, here, and here, and then hit the I key for inset, uh, and then just scale that a little bit, and then E to extrude backward, and then just drag that back to wherever you want. Um, I'm going to stop it before I reach this other face, uh, because I might end up coloring this face differently than I color um, these barrels. And so, like, if this is like a bright yellow and this is a black, I want this black um, to be what the user sees, not the yellow from, from this piece. So if I go into... If I hit 3 and then 5, that takes it into orthographic view. Uh, and so we can just make sure that that this is in front of this piece. Alright, so now I, go, I hit 1 to go back into front view, 5 to leave ortho orthographic. Um, I think we're making pretty good progress. Uh, the next thing I want to do, uh, while, while still in phase mode, I'm going to click here and here. Um, and you know what, I'm, I'm actually just going to create these as separate pieces. So I'm just going to click on one of these, Shift D to duplicate, and then right click so that it stays in place. And then I can just drag that back. I'm going to S, S, X to scale on the X axis, S, Y to scale back like that. And then I'm going to hit E to extrude, S, X to scale inward one more time, Control L to select the whole piece. And let's just scale that up. Uh, I think that's too long, so I'm going to hit S, Y, scale it back like this. Um, and while I have this, um, while I have this selected, I'm going to hit S, Y, and negative one, just so I can show you something. Um, now, if I leave object mode, you, you can see that this piece is colored differently than this piece. Um, that's because when I hit when I hit S, Y, negative one. I essentially um, mirrored it backward on itself. And what that did is completely mess up the normal mapping. So now if I hit N, uh, there should be a display tab. Uh, if we click on back face culling, um, essentially that, that tells us uh, that, 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 that makes it not render the back of a surface. And so we can tell that these faces are actually inside out. The the forward facing direction of this face right here um, is facing toward the back of the weapon. The forward facing of this is facing toward the front of the weapon, which is the exact opposite of what we want. So I'm going to go back into edit mode and just hit control N. Uh, and that's, that's going to make it recalculate the normal mapping of that piece um, to make it more consistent. Uh, so if that ever happens to you in the future, it happened to me a lot when I was, when I was first getting started and I had no idea what to do about it. Um, it was pretty frustrating, so just remember Control N while in edit mode to fix that. Uh, so next, we're gonna work on this piece. Uh, I think I want to scale this down some more, and then I'm gonna right-click here, and then Inset by hitting the I key. 
to about there. Uh, control tab to go into vertex mode. And I'm just going to move these almost out of sight, like that. Control tab to go back into face mode. Extrude these out, and then just drag that down. Uh, and then I'm going to click on this piece. I'm going to hit Control L to select this entire barrel. I'm going to hit Shift D, drag that up. S Y, scale it inward. S scale the whole thing in, and then just drag that back. Uh, and while doing that, um, it made it pretty obvious that it was not centered correctly. Um, and I guess if we look at it from the front in ortho orthographic view. Um, this is cl clearly out of alignment, so I'm going to click on this face, Control L, uh, move both of these to the center, and then I think this one's too far to the right. So once again, I just click on a face, Control L, and then align it. Five to leave orth orthographic view. All right, I think we're making pretty good progress. Um, I'm going to I'm going to hit Shift A to create another cylinder. R, X, 90, pull this back, then I want to click on this face and bring it forward. Um, how do I want to do this? I think I'm going to subdivide this, pull it to about here, and then subdivide. These pieces are in the way, so I'm just going to shift click all three and then drag them in. Then I'm going to click on these two faces and extrude that out. Uh, let's go into edge mode, take these two, and bring that forward to about there. And then select one edge, control L, and I'm just going to bring this in. Scale it down. Uh, Alright, so select this whole thing again, S, Y, scale down to about there. Uh, control tab to go into face selection mode. E to extrude, right click to leave it in place. S, oh, I think I did it one too many times. Alright, so E to extrude, right click to leave it in place, S to scale. E to extrude again. One more time. Uh, right click to leave that in place, scale it down, E to extrude, and then one more time and scale it down like that. Just create a little bit more of a rounded edge here. Uh, and then I don't like how um, this front piece is smaller than this piece, so I'm going to hold Alt and then right click here, and that's that does a ring selection. And I'm just going to scale that whole piece down like that. Right click on the edge, pull it out, E to extrude, S to scale in. Uh, control tab to go into edge selection mode. Control L, pull that in one more time. All right. Um, I, th I I like how this is kind of off to the side, but there definitely needs to be something here. Uh, let me pull open my other one that I built last night. Here. Blender. All right. Um, let's see. I really like the way these ones look, uh, but I, I modeled them a little bit differently. Alright, so I'm going to go back into edit mode, move this whole piece away, uh, and then I'm just going to move this up.
And now I don't want to move this piece directly up um, because it's going to create something called non-planar ge non planar geometry. And what that means is basically um, for every for every face on your model, you should be able to take like a flat piece of cardboard and lay it directly up against that as like as a as a plane. Every vertex on this face needs to have some sort of plane that it can rest up against. So like like this obviously has a plane. This one does. This one does. This one, uh, if I pull this this piece out, or like move this edge up. Now this vertex, this vertex, this one, and this one, they're all on a plane. Uh, but this one right here is kind of like outside of that plane. Like if there was a piece of cardboard flat up against this, uh, it would it would get warped by this bump right here. And usually, um, 3D modeling systems don't know how to account for that. Blender usually does a pretty good job, uh, but but once we export that into Unity, uh, it the it it would, it would kind of just mess up the lighting, and it, it just doesn't look good. So at, at all costs, you want to avoid non-planar geometry. So now you can see I I undid that, and it flattened it out. So this is actually like a flat surface now. So I'm still not exactly sure how I want to do this. Uh, I think I'll flatten this back out. Uh, control tab to go into face mode. Pull these both out again. No, I don't like that. I hope this isn't too boring to watch. Um, there, there, there is a lot of thinking and planning that has to go into this stuff. Um, so yeah, if you're bored, I don't really care because I want to create a good model. Uh, let's just click here, extrude up. And then I'm going to control L to select this whole piece. Pull this over. Yeah, I think that that's okay, I guess. Except I don't like the curve of this piece, so I'm going to hit control tab, vertex mode, and just pull this one out. And now I, I created a non-planar face uh, right here, but if, if I sort of um, push that into this piece you won't be able to see it, so let's let's just hide that. Like so. And now for the rest of these faces, they should be fine. Yeah, I think that looks okay. So, undo that. Yeah, that, that looks good. So the next thing I'm going to do is create sort of a connection between this like ammunition tank and this this face right here. So to do that, I'm going to right-click here, extrude, scale it down a little bit, extrude again, R, uh, Y, and then pull that down. I, oops, I, I meant to extrude again before rotating like that. But not quite so far. R, Y, down. Uh, extrude R Y down. And just keep repeating the process. Alright. So now we have that little connector piece. And I'm just going to take this face, move it in, this face, move it in, just kind of rotate that randomly just to give it a little bit of variation. Scale this piece down. Scale this piece down. Yeah, I think that looks fine. Alright, so... Uh, I think that looks good as a basic turret. Now let's take this whole thing, uh, make sure we're in edit mode, Actually, why don't we do it in object mode? We'll, we'll create a completely separate turret, so I'm just going to drag this across. Shift D to duplicate the object, and then I'm going to drag that out. 
And now um, this could be like a level 1 turret, and this could be like a level 2 turret. Uh, so for the level 1 turret, let's just take this tank, scale it down a little bit. And I'm going to take the barrels, right click, shift right click, shift right click, uh, control L, and scale these down. Control L, pull that in, scale it down. Control L, uh, right click, right click, Control L, scale this whole piece down. That was a bit too much. And we can also use the box select tool to select a bunch of pieces, and then Control L to get the entire um, geometry connected to those pieces. And I think I'm just going to scale these on the x-axis, like that. I'm just trying to make it look like weaker. S Z down. Yeah, I think that's fine. So now, for the level 2 turret, um, it's bigger, the tank is bigger, and we're going to put like a little bit of armor on the side here. So to do that, I'll just select these faces, extrude out, and scale in. Same thing on this side. Select these three, extrude out, scale in. And we could add a second tank. Um, why don't we just go ahead and go back into object mode, shift D, pull this out. And I think for the second turret, uh, I'm going to scale it on the x-axis by negative 1 just so there's more variation between level 1, level 2, and level 3. Um, and it doesn't look like it messed up our normals by doing that. Uh, if you do that in edit mode, it usually messes up the normals. Whoops. Undo. S, X, minus 1. Um, you can see, like, everything's completely messed up now. So we could fix that by hitting Control n um, or we can just make sure that we rotate within object mode. Um, so next we have the level 3 turret, and for this one I'm going to create a second tank, so I'm just going to control L on this piece, shift D, drag it out this way, um, S, X, minus 1, uh, you can see the normals got messed up again, so I'm going to hit control N, scale it down, and then just move it out so it's not being clipped through by the object. I'm going to go into edge selection mode, take this piece here and move it down. And I'm just going to select each of these barrels, control L, and scale them upward like that. Take the top one and move it down. And then let's just make the whole thing a little bit bigger. And I, I want more variation um, within this piece between level 2 and level 3. Um, so I'm just going to go back into face mode, take this, bring it in, take this, bring it in, maybe, maybe bring that out. I don't like that last adjustment. Undo. We could bring this out, and let's just make this tank bigger. S, Y, scale, maybe not quite that big. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. S, Y, scale. I'm reasonably happy with these three turrets. Um, I think that I'm going to take this piece, control L, S, Y, bring it up. Like that. And then I'm going to take this piece, 
Um, click on this model, edit mode, control L, bring that back a little bit. Uh, I just want there to be enough variation to keep it interesting. Control L, S, Y, out like that. Control L, move it up. Yeah, I think I'm pretty satisfied with these. Uh, let me know in the comments um, if you like these. Uh, was this video too long? Um, what can I do better to make you guys happier? Uh, I'm here to entertain you, so let me know. I'll see you in the next video.